Hi everyone and welcome to this creating and modifying tables case study. Here is where we are going to practice our skills of creating data and also inserting and deleting data from a specific table. So let's jump right into our case study and understand what we'll have to do. Now our challenge is to create the stores information on the books and books database. So as a part of the IT department, what the company asked us is to model this stores table and also insert some information into it in the database because they want to track the stores that the company has. On the first exercise, what we will do is create that table. So we'll need to create a table named stores inside the books and books database. And this table should have just three columns. So a store ID, that is an auto-incremented integer primary key, and then a not no store name, that will be a Varchar 30. Finally, we'll have a capacity, an integer column that will tell us how many books is this store able to store. On exercise two, we need to change the type of the capacity column to small int. So this will be an exercise focused on understanding how the alter table commands work. Then we need to insert new stores into the table. So we need first to insert the booksy store that has a capacity of 500 inside the stores table. In the exercise right after it, we'll need to insert two stores at the same time, the pagey and the leaflet stores, they have this name, and these two stores can have in its warehouse 200 and 250 books respectively. So. Exercise three, inserting a single row. Exercise four, inserting two rows at the same time. In exercise five, we need to set the SQL safe updates clause to zero. If you don't remember this, go back to the lecture where we needed to delete data from a specific table and check the clause that I've ran in there so that I was able to do that, or just search on the internet to check what's the clause and how you can run it. Exercise six, we need to delete two stores at the same time. This is something that we didn't check in the practical lecture. So uh, of course we have all the ingredients right now to do this exercise, but they were a bit separated between the past sections. So you'll need to compound on the concept of deleting information or deleting data from a table and multiple selection. Check the internet if you need some help on this. Here you need to delete the leaflet and the booksy stores from the store table. And this is in a single SQL instruction so that you can use a multiple selection instruction. Now on exercise seven, we need to insert a new store named library. And this has a capacity of 2000 books on the storage table. Here we return again to practice inserting into. And then on exercise eight, we need to change the capacity column name to book capacity. Here we are also going to practice something regarding alter table. Finally, we need to add a new column, which is the region column to this stores table. Of course, this region will not have any data at all, but at least we'll have information or at least we'll have the column in there so that we can store data later. This column should be a Varshar 100. Okay, so this is the case study for us to practice this section. Of course, we also have the quiz uh, to understand some of the concepts, but here you'll be a bit more practical and we have these nine exercises that will help you to get more familiar and gain new skills when manipulating tables in SQL. If you are having trouble, check the next lecture where we are going to solve these exercises at the same time. So I'll see you there.